to make slipper soles with some clothesline or some nylon cord. You're going to take the cord and you're going to fold it in half so that you have about an inch and a half at the ends. And I have some yarn here and my crochet hook. I'm just going to make a slip knot. And then I'm going to place the hook right in the end of the loop. And I'm going to bring the yarn through and make a single crochet. Now you want to make sure you're working on the side that has this length. So I'm just going to make one more single crochet. Now I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to make a single crochet and I'm going to go around both of the cords like that. Chain one single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Now I'm going to keep doing that until I get down to the end of the cord. Okay, so I've worked all the way down and now I'm just going to bring this cord down around like this and I'm just going to keep doing what I was doing. Chain one, single crochet chain one, single crochet, chain one. Now I'm going to go between these two. So right between the two and I'm going to single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet right between those two cords. Chain one, single crochet. Okay, I'm just going to go down to here off camera and then I'll come back and show you how to do the subsequent rows. Okay, I made it down to the end. So now I'm just going to curl this around and I'm going to chain one. And now I'm going to start working into the stitch of the yarn. So I'm going to single crochet in there. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, like that. And you're just going to continue to do that, making single crochets all the way around. And when you get to the end of the row, you're just going to curl around and you're going to continue to work around and around until you have something that looks like this. And when you've worked it long enough that it's the right size to, for your slippers, you're just going to cut off the end, thread the yarn end into a needle, and then just wrap that around a couple of times to get that good and snug, like that. And then you can weave the yarn end into the finished work, like that. Place that on the bottom of your slippers and sew it to attach it to the bottom of the slippers. And I have one here that's already done. So you can see that that makes a good durable sole underneath your slippers. If you like this video, don't forget to click like. And thanks for watching.